Hi everybody, it's Julie. Welcome back to Pages and Pens. Today I am here with a very exciting unboxing. Let's jump right into it. I asked you over on Instagram if you would like a dedicated unboxing of A Curse and Ash, and you said yes. Don't get too excited, it is not the finished copy of my book. It is a physical proof copy, which means it's probably gonna have that little banner across the middle of my cover that says this is a proof copy, which is going to super bum me out. But I just got back from being up the Poconos and I knew that this had been sitting here for days and it was very difficult for me to take like the mental health time to stay up there and just relax and not come running home because all I wanted was to get home and take a look at this book. I had been waiting so long to physically hold this book. So where am I in the process? I'll give you a quick update. I did all the internal formatting, I did all of the proofing of the inside, the layout of the inside, and then said gonna need the physical proof to just do one more read through. I have read this book when I tell you I've not read this year, but if I could count the pages of this book, if I could count this page, this book is like a reread over and over and over again. I've read it at least a dozen times. I mean, I would be upwards of probably getting closer to two dozen, and it is a lot. I feel like I'm at the max of what I could potentially find in a digital copy, so seeing it physically is gonna be really important. But this is, this is my book. <laughs> I have a Curse and Ash in my hands. This is a Curse and Ash. Um, and I'm wearing my same shirt from when I announced the book deal because it felt very fortuitous and full circle. <sighs> I have a feeling I'm gonna cry, but this is not the end of the process, right? Like I still need to go through this book, I need to take highlighter and pen to it, I need to find any last errors that I've skipped in all of the digital versions because your eyes just get used to the way the word should be and I, my brain knows what the word should be and, and things get missed. So I'm going to do another read through physically and then I can get it back and I can say, we're ready to go for print, I can start getting pre-order stuff up. Um, all of my pre-order campaign things at this point are in my possession. I have all of them. I'll be taking, like, not professional, but I'll be taking shareable images of those things so that I can start to promote those as soon as the pre-order links are available. It's all very exciting and I'm just trying to keep myself from opening this right now because I'm freaking out. Funny thing is I actually have two books here. One is Tessa Bailey's book and one is my book. This one is way bigger. I feel like this one's mine. I feel like this is Tessa Bailey. So I'm going to open this one first because I have a feeling this is Tessa Bailey and I have a feeling that this one is my arc. Like this one is my proof copy. It is so, it's so considerably heavier. Um, my book is big. I'm assuming bigger than Tessa Bailey's. Oh my god, I'm freaking out. Okay, um, I'm just gonna prepare myself that this might be it too and we'll open it and we'll see, but I'm not a hundred percent sure because there is, like I had ordered a book while I was gone, so I don't know 100% that this is mine. Emotions going through me are so intense. I can't believe I get to finally see what the cover looks like. I knew that I want it matte, but I want it the flat matte, not the soft matte. But I think because even though I'm going through Ingram and Ingram offers a flat matte, it's going to be fulfilled by Amazon, which only offers a soft matte. I also wanted a certain paperweight that Ingram has but Amazon doesn't and because Amazon will be fulfilling a lot of orders I can't guarantee the reading experience from book to book which bothers me because I want a certain reader experience for my book I want you to have like a floppy paperback feel I didn't want a hardback I didn't want a stiff paperback so I'm nervous but I'm excited to see it um I'm excited to read it I oh my gosh it's this weird thing, but like my initial reaction when I think about my book is almost like this involuntary dry heave where I just get so nervous that my whole body just shuts down and I don't know what to do with myself. So this could go a lot of different ways, but I, I'm genuinely so excited. I'm shaking. <laughs> All right, are you ready? I'm not ready. Oh my gosh. I feel sick to my stomach. Okay, so fun times. Um, I was right. This one is Tessa Bailey, <laughs> which I'm still very excited for. Somebody pitched it as like Shit's Creek meets something else. Um, 
I'm here for this one. I will read this eventually. This thing weighs, this weighs so much. Oh my God, I can't believe it's my book. Okay, well that was good practice. I knew that probably wasn't gonna be mine. This is so much bigger. Okay, all right, this is, a, this is fine. This is totally normal. This happens every day. No, it doesn't. This does not happen every day. And I can't believe I get to hold this after this much work. I literally, I did makeup on purpose so I don't cry. Okay, it definitely has that soft matte feel. I haven't even looked at it. Like I just, my hand is in there. It definitely has that soft matte feel. Like you know the one where if you like eat a greasy food or if you like put lotion on your hands, it's gonna leave fingerprints. <sighs> I hate that. I hate that for me. I hate it for you as the reader. I don't love that but I don't like glossy finishes. So I feel like it's probably my only option and it's probably the reading experience you're gonna get and I'm sorry. I can't, I can't pull it out. I can't look at it. I can't, should I just let you guys see it? I don't even know, I can't. Okay, this is dramatic. I know it's like unnecessarily dramatic. Can you see it? Oh God, it's upside down. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh. <laughs> I'm staring at the viewfinder. I'm sorry. I never do that. I try really hard not to do that. Oh my god. This is my book. Oh. Oh, it's so big. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. Oh. <sighs> This is what the back of my book looks like. <laughs> it's beautiful. Um, and the image does wrap around like if you were to open it, you do get like sparks and the color continue on the spine. It is a little bit darker, but so is like the edge of the images on both sides. So it transitions pretty nicely. The teal continues, the sparks continue across the sides. There's my spine. Oh. <sighs> And here's my cover. <laughs> and the back again. And there's my name right down here. There's like a sticky glue on this. I'm gonna have to try to get some like goo gone and get that off. Oh wow. There's my title page. another title page with my name on it my dedication no spoilers chapter one and I do have artwork as my chapter headers I like chapter number the POV because it does switch POVs and then I have artwork depending on the POV for all of my chapters <gasps> oh my god oh my god it's my book 374 pages there is a really fun QR code at the back of the book where you can sign up for my newsletter and get a bonus chapter. Um, my acknowledgements. <sighs> now I get to take my highlighter to this <laughs> and my pen and my post-it notes, like my little tabs, and I get to annotate this the way that I would any other book. Um, it's not like perfect, but it is like sitting open strangely. Um, I went with cream paper because anything else. I don't like white paper. It is a heavier paper than I want it because I wanted it to have like that floppy stay open feel. Um, and it doesn't quite do that. Like I think if you were to really force it open, you're gonna break the spine. Um, I wanted a different paperweight that would allow the spine to lay open better and uh, it's just not possible unless you get it from Ingram directly, which I think is gonna be more for wholesalers, bookstores, libraries, and or apparently like areas that Book Depository and or Amazon doesn't necessarily ship to. So like more remote European countries might get it directly from Ingram, in which case you'll get the paperweight and the kind of matte finish that I want you to get. Um, but otherwise, I've had to kind of realize that not everything is possible. God, 
Jesus, this cover is so beautiful. Oh my God, I love it so much. Oh, and it's like, it's thick. I'm trying to think like comparatively, like a, another popular book that people could look at it against. Like if you look at it against, you know, Tessa Bailey, it's taller, it's a little wider. It is a little thicker as well. It's not gonna be like a trad pub romance size. The Nature of Witches. So The Nature of Witches is gonna be a little bit wider, but that's because of the hardcover binding. But it is, oh, and if you look inside, the actual paper height of my book versus The Nature of Witches, because again, it's a hardback, my book is the same exact size as the hardcover but the paper inside of here is smaller. So much hard work has gone into this. So much hard work has gone into this. Um, and I, I'm both so excited and so nervous for it to be out there in the world. I know once it's gone, it's not mine anymore and it's still very much mine. Um, but I hope you love it and I hope that it brings you some joy and some entertainment. Um, it's not gonna be something that is meant to be life-changing or teach you these like crazy lessons. Um, it's supposed to be heartwarming and it's supposed to be fun and it's supposed to be sexy and um, it's supposed to be an escape. And I think if you go into it just knowing it's going to be a fun escapism read you're gonna love it, uh, hopefully. Oh my gosh, the formatting is perfect. It looks amazing. <laughs> oh man, it's heavy. Like I'm resting my elbow because it's it's heavy, it's so heavy. And guys, I cannot wait for you to see the pre-order campaign like stuff, like the pre-order campaign goodies that I have for you are so exciting. They are so cool and I cannot wait to start sending them out to you. All of that information, as soon as I have pre-order information and pre-order links, I will have that out as well. Uh, it is based on my website and there's a form on my website. You just put in your proof of purchase and I will add you to my, it'll automatically add you to my spreadsheet and you'll get the pre-order goodies. I'm so excited, um, but this is going to be available internationally. It will be available through Book Depository, through Amazon, if your country has Amazon. Um, it will be available through bookshop.org. It will be available through your local bookstore, Target, Walmart, Barnes & Noble. You can request it at your library. Please, oh my gosh, please request it at your library once the pre-order stuff is out. But because I'm going through Ingram, it is cataloged. So you can request it at your library. You can, you know, you can get it everywhere. Uh, there will be an ebook, there will be a paperback, hopefully one day an audiobook. They're just very expensive and I don't have a budget for that right now. Wow. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Thank you for everybody who said you wanted a dedicated video and not just part of the long form vlog. I'm sure I'll put parts of this into the long form vlog, but this is my book. This is what my book looks like. This like, it took forever for me to know what the spine was gonna look like because we didn't have like a finished page count. We didn't know how thick it was gonna be. Like it is, it's thick. <laughs> it's so heavy. <laughs> like it's, it's laughable how much heavier it is. Oh, it's so big, it's so big. Oh, it's everything I could have wanted. Hopefully going to look amazing on your shelves and hopefully be something that brings you joy and a little bit of an escape and a smile and a laugh and maybe your heart races a little bit and maybe you get lost in another world for a while. That's all we want when we open up a book, right? And I hope I get to do that for you. <laughs> it's done that for me, working on it. <sighs> if 
Yeah, this feels very different than when I um, published my flash fiction and poetry. This feels so different. It's so amazing. <laughs> I don't really know what else there is to say. Just know this is not going to remain a pristine copy. I'm going to mark up any errors that I find. I'm going to tab up any issues that I see. Um, and then let the publishing house know and they can correct it and then we can move forward. I will also be contacting the marketing and publicist woman. Now that I have this in my hands and this ball is going to be rolling, I'm going to try to move as fast as humanly possible because I do want to pre-order time frame before the actual release date and I'm still shooting for an October release date. I'm going to go get to work. Uh, whoever tells you that like writing the end or writing the book is the hard part, it isn't. Um, I'm not a natural born marketer. I'm not a natural born salesperson. I don't pitch myself well. This is a lot of hard work come to life and there's a lot of hard work that has to come after this and I really truly had no idea how daunting the work after finishing writing a book is. <laughs> Drafting is the easiest part that you'll do and I'm sorry if you're in that process and thinking this is the hardest it gets but editing over and over and over again and then trying to sell it over and over and over again and then editing it more and then having to market it. Um, I don't do that well naturally. Um, I don't like feeling like I'm forcing myself on people, but be prepared to see this everywhere for a very long time and all of my promotional items for a very long time because I'm really proud of them. I've created book trailer videos. I've created a whole bunch of different promotional images. I'm so excited to be able to share those with you as we lead up to like the actual release sale date and to share all the pre-order goodies with you. So thank you for coming along on this journey, oh my god. And for being here with me while I open this. Oh my gosh, yeah. I'm fine. I'm fine. You're fine. We're all fine. I'm gonna go stare at this for another couple of hours, but this is a curse and ash. This is my book. So this is what will be sitting on your shelves if you choose to support me and my career as an author. It's stunning. I know I'm very partial, but this is a face out book. Like it just is. I can't wait to get a finished copy and put it face out. It's probably gonna go face out even though it has this big line across it. I don't care. I'm so proud of it. I'm so proud of it. Um, so yeah, that has been me unboxing my proof copy of A Curse and Ash. I'm gonna go start proofing it. Oh my gosh. That's it, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you do, uh, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, uh, support me, please. <laughs> Get excited, start getting other people excited for it. Uh, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye friends. <laughs> oh my God. Whew.